Hi friends, welcome to Oha Studies YouTube channel. This is part 57 in Azure Synapse Analytics playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about Spark tables in detail. In our previous videos, we discussed about what is Spark database or Lake database and also we have discussed about what is Spark table. This is little more details about the Spark tables. Uh, whenever we create a Spark table, we know that we can create it with some format. We have discussed in our previous video as well. We are going to deep dive like how many formats, like what are the formats available for the data when you create the Spark table. I am not going to explain what is Spark table detailedly. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please watch it. That is part 55 and 56. From there, you will get more details. So let's try to understand the formats of the data which we can use in the Spark tables. So if you remember, Spark table is a table which will get created based on the spark pool, right? So if you have a spark pool, on top of the spark pool, you can create a spark table. Since spark will work with the data which is there in the files and all on the data like storages, the spark tables actually not a tables. Basically behind the scenes, they are like a files as I said in my previous video. Have the imagination that basically they are files background, okay? But on the front to the UI, you will see them as a tables, okay? And we have discussed about what is manager table, and external table as well okay so we are not going to deep dive that please watch the previous video now when we create a spark table this is the syntax we use we have discussed this in our previous video so we use create table table name then we mention the column names there and then we can mention location and also we will mention the using uh, when i say using this is where you need to mention the format actually so what is the format to use? Okay, so if your files or if your data behind the scenes of the Spark table, is it a parquet file? Is it a CSV? We have seen these two in our previous videos. So not only those two formats, all these formats, right? Parquet, CSV, ORC, Avro, JSON, text, Delta, all these formats, we can use it basically. Okay, so let me practically show you this. About this Delta format alone, we will discuss in a separate video in the next video. So let's go to Synapse workspace and in the Synapse workspace, uh, let's navigate to this develop menu and here let's try to continue, let's try to create a new notebook. Uh, from here, we can attach our notebook with a Spark pool and we can select a notebook default language also. Let me select Spark SQL as a default language. So you know this if you have seen all other previous videos of the uh, Synapse workspace uh, playlist. Okay. So now here, uh, if I navigate to Delta, uh, sorry, Data tab, we can see Delta database section there and we can see some default Spark databases. This is also, you know, right? So let's try to create one Spark database first. So let's go to here. Let's try to create a Spark database, create database and let's try to give a name to the database as maybe like my Spark DB. So this is the database I am trying to create now. When I try to execute this command, it is going to actually execute and create one Spark database for me. So it might have created. If I go to this uh, data menu and if I refresh my lake databases, I should see my database and behind the scenes, it will create a folder in my uh, Spark engine. That means in the default folder of the ADLS Gen 2, which is connected with this, with this Synapse workspace. You know that. Uh, where to see that? Uh, let me quickly show you. Go to here linked and this is where you can see your linked ADLS Gen 2 account. Navigate it here click your default file system and under which there is a default part that's where it create a folders and everything right you you know that right so now let's go back to our notebook and in the notebook let's try to create one table create table in my spark db database i want to create a table called persons csv let me name that way and here let's try to have a column called id and then name column called name column which is type of string okay and then using we have to mention the cf the data or the data format right and here i am going to use the csv format and uh, since it is a csv format i can mention options and in the options i can mention like header is true that means keep keep first row as uh, first row as a column names okay basically and I can mention a location also. I no need to mention a location. As I said in my previous calls, uh, previous sessions, this table will get created in the default path. I will show you that as well if you haven't seen my previous video. So I am creating a data a table with format CSV. Okay, so let's wait for the command to execute. 
and here itself let's try to insert a row so insert into what is my database what is my database name spark db my spark db dot persons csv and then let's insert values and let's name it like one then mahir let me hit shift enter to insert this row okay so data get inserts once this command gets successful and i will show you the path as well so let's wait this command execution to complete here command executed successfully now uh, what i can do i can go to this storage account and if i, if I go inside synapse folder i should be seeing a folder uh, with the uh, workspace name my workspace name is synapse mahir and inside that if i navigate i should see a folder name as well see under workspaces i should if i navigate inside the workspaces my workspace name and here the data warehouse folder and this is my database name if you observe and this is the table name what i created it created as a csv file and also if you see here it generated a csv file as well and if i download this csv file i should see the same data so let me hit this download button here it will download a file now once the files get download let's try to open that file and look at the data there so let me hit this open file link to open my csv file now and once the csv file get open i should see the same data like whatever i inserted right you see here id name one mahir okay so not only csv format i can even create a json format or avro format or parquet text all these formats even delta format what is delta format i will explain in the next video okay so now here let's go back to our notebook let's do one thing let's try to create one more table and this time same table with same schema let's name it like json okay and uh, this time let's use the json as a format and for json there is nothing called headers so remove it let me hit shift enter to execute this command once the commands executes let's try to insert a similar data even in the json table as well where the data is in json format behind the scenes so what is my table name here is json right so let me hit shift enter to execute this command also and the once once the command get executed you see executed now if i go to my container if i go back to my database i should see persons json folder that's the table and if i go inside this table you see it's a json file if i right click and if i download this file and if i try to open this file even you see the same data what i inserted in a json format so let's wait for our json file to get load here and try to examine the same you see here my json file got opened and it's actually id and name with the same schema in the json format so point to make note down what i'm trying to put a point here is whenever you create a spark table you have to mention a format in which format the data should get stored behind the scenes and these these all can be the formats it can be a parquet file format it can be csv it can be orc avro json text and delta in all these formats right except delta in all these formats we cannot update the data we can only insert the information okay we cannot perform the update of the records we cannot perform the delete of the records we can delete the entire table if you want that will delete the data and folders as well as I, as we discussed in our previous video but if you want to only update the information or delete the information like row by row kind of thing like how you do in the sql tables that is not possible with all these formats you can only do that with the delta format so what is the delta format how we can create the delta format spark table and how to perform inserts updates and deletes everything we are going to discuss in our upcoming video so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much